Did you know that it's okay to repeat yourself in your content? Let me say that again. It is not only good to repeat your content, repeat the ideas you've shared before, the way you shared them, repeat something that ha was a good reminder for you and, and for your audience and you're saying it again. Not only is it good to repeat yourself again and again, your audience appreciates it. Let me explain. It's kind of like, do, is there a pop, is there a song that you really enjoy? A song that has made a difference for, for you in your life. Every time it comes on the radio, you enjoy it again. Now think about that. Every time it comes on the radio, you enjoy that song, or almost every time. And don't you feel like the next time you go see that artist in concert, don't you hope that they will play that song? Even though you've already jammed to that song dozens of times in your life, you've heard it again and again and again, and you wish for them to play it again at the concert? Yes. And not only that, you might even wish for them to play it twice at the concert, first in the beginning, so that you get, you get into the, the thing right away. And you hope maybe they, you know, if they play it again at the end, you're not going to complain because they'll probably play it slightly differently. There will be a reprise. Maybe it's, it's unplugged this time. Or maybe they add more band members or whatever. So just like you would love that band to do that, same thing with your audience. Your audience wants you to repeat something you said in the past that they really appreciated and enjoyed. And by the way, every time you repeat it, and it's probably going to be slightly different. You might add a little something different just naturally. It's not like you're, because you're not memorizing. I mean, sometimes you have, may have memorized a saying that you like to say. But then after that, naturally, you might say something different, whether it's in writing or on video. So, this means you can have hope that don't feel you have the burden of always creating new stuff forever. I hear this from so many of you. Oh, George, I know you always tell us to keep creating consistent content on a regular basis, but I'm afraid that I don't have ideas forever. I mean, I'm just thinking about all this. No, you don't have to. For every five pieces of content that you create, one of them did better than the others, just by definition, right? And so you can have the hope that if you keep creating, you're going to keep accumulating hits. And you know, you've created five pieces of content. One of them did better than the other four. Good. Now you've created 10 pieces of content. Two or three of them did better than the other eight, seven or eight. Now you've created 50 pieces of content. Now 10 of them has done better than the other 40. And you just keep track like that until you've created 100 pieces of content. Now you have 20 great pieces of content. The 80, the 80 were so-so. Eh, Some of the 80 were not so good. Same thing for me. Those of you who are, uh, follow my Instagram account you know, and, you, and you look at my carousel post where I do my writings on Instagram, you might say, wow. Well, so, uh, maybe I'm praising myself too much, but, but some people go, wow, George is so brilliant. Those carousel posts are always so good, or the ideas are always so good. Well, maybe some of you don't think that, but whatever. Okay, but it's like, do you think those carousel posts are always so brilliant? No. Those carousel posts that I post on Instagram, those are my best hits. Maybe now you feel sorry for me. Wow, George, those are your best hits, really? <laughs> but that's, it's true. You know, because I've created so much content over the years, that now I can take my older best stuff and just repeat it again and again over the years, this time in different formats, you know? So same thing with you. I encourage you, I implore you to think about eventually coming up with your best 100 hits. Yes, you have best 100 hits within you, but you won't get there until you create 500 to 1,000 pieces of content. And you also need to understand that that means you have, you know, 80 to 90% of your content. That's ah, so-so, not so great. Same with me. You don't see me repeating my worst ideas. I have plenty of bad ideas. And I put it out there for the first time, and I noticed, ah, oh, I guess people didn't get it. 
I guess people, you know, maybe it's it's too advanced for them, or maybe I still have some convoluted way of thinking about it, or maybe I haven't communicated as well as I could have. Let me try it again next time. I have plenty of bad content that, that you don't get to see. And that's actually part of what I, what I appreciate about social media algorithms. By, de by definition, the social media algorithms only show you the stuff that you have demonstrated that you like. Thank goodness. My bad content, fewer people see it. My best content, lots more people see it. Same with yours. Now, I have to say one quick thing, especially those of you who, who post on Facebook and Instagram. I'm not talking about your selfie photos, unless you are a photographer, unless you are a model. Um, your selfie photos are always going to do better than your writings or your things about your business or whatever. That's not fair. You, you should take out the, the content that just naturally gets more likes just because it's a selfie photo or a photo of your cat or your dog or a nice scenery. Obviously, people like nature and animals and you. Uh, they're just going to like that stuff. But I'm talking about your ideas. I'm talking about the art that you create create that's related to your business, that's related to your work. You should compare those things on, on their own. So again, last thing, and I'll, I'll complete it to say, you won't know what your best hits are until you put out a lot of content. Just like the musicians, they don't expect every piece they put out there to be a viral hit. If they do, they're a little delusional, right? But do not expect that. Expect that you have to put many things out analyze and notice what your hits are and then repurpose those older hits again and again and again. I'm George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. Thank you so much for joining me for this video and I encourage you, I, I wish you joyful productivity as you go forward and create. Be well.